welcome everyone back to the channel. Uh, as you just saw, we moved our chickens. Uh, we're just moving them right now like that until we finish building their mobile chicken coop. Or actually, when we start building their mobile chicken coop. This is just a coop that we built that we could let them stay outside because uh, they were way too big for their brooder. Uh, but yeah, they're nice and content and happy. Uh, we've just been really busy uh, with everything on our farm. As you can see, everything's greened up, super nice. Uh, you'll see like how we move this coop each day, how much they actually break down the earth and the, the grass and everything. It's a great tool to use if you have chickens for your garden. Uh, we just couldn't implement it to our garden because they weren't old enough to be out by themselves. Uh, but yeah, today we started building or digging a trench along the edge of our garden fence so we can run more fencing below ground level uh, to protect it from like rabbits and uh, small animals that would go in there and eat all of our, our produce, our vegetables. Uh, but big news, Monday, hopefully hopefully Monday or Tuesday, we'll be ordering our Premier One fencing, uh, actually getting our, our hose so we can stop watering our garden the way that we've been watering it. If you watched, I think it's two videos ago, you'll see that we're using a 25-gallon uh, uh, water reservoir with a sprayer on the back of our side-by-side. -side. The plants that we have in our garden right now, we have 13 uh, beds or rows. Uh, probably about 85 almost 90 plants per row uh, so they're they're drinking about 50 to 75 gallons of water a day uh, but we'll run our line from one of our spicks all the way out to our garden we'll take you along with that project it'll be really cool i think i'll have some ball valves in it um, and then we're going to have hoses going from our main line into our beds and then we'll be covering that up with mulch that we're going to be making here uh, hopefully we'll have all of our water systems done uh, by like thursday wednesday thursday uh, we'll have our fencing done hopefully before that and then friday we'll be getting a wood chipper to make our own mulch and then we'll have our whole our 13 beds all ready to go self-watering mulched out It'll, it's just going to be really pretty uh, be working on a a big gate right here for our fence so we'll have a big gate going here and then we'll have a man door going in so we can either walk into it we're gonna bring our side by side in our tractor anything like that uh, so we can harvest our our crops uh, our, our last video i mentioned that we're going to plant a big one or two crops right here uh, so we're actually going to partition off half of it where we have our 13 beds we're gonna i think we're gonna bring it out to like 15 or maybe 18 beds in total over there halfway through partition it off here and then we're going to have two or three big crops like watermelons and pumpkins and corn or something like that um, right here so we'll have to we're gonna have to finish taking out all this grass from it re-sprouting after we tilled it but for the most part it's looking awesome we'll have our 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 blocking fence probably come up to right here but yeah, it'll be below ground level so rabbits and stuff like that can't get in and eat our stuff like I mentioned before. Uh, but yeah, we have one, we have two more strands of barbed wire we have to put at the top. Uh, but we'll knock that out in like a few hours, probably tomorrow, 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 or the next day, something like that, depending on what we have on the, the docket. Uh, but then our fence will be done. We're going to knock out our big gate. Uh, our partition when we have our other fencing down here and just watering and managing our crops so you can see right here we dug a big trench all along the whole thing <laughs> where we're, we're going to section it off so like i said we'll section it off we'll partition it off from here all the way out and then this will be protected from all of our the wildlife in the meantime until we can have our whole bottom rung done. Uh, and then that big section right here over to the right will be those two or three big crops. Uh, but like I mentioned, Tristan's watering the garden right now. This is kind of a, a sucky way because we've been watering it twice a day. It's a really sucky way to have to do it, but it's only a short term thing until we have our 
our hose out here, our pipes. So like I said, he's just using that sprayer on the back of our side-by-side, -side, watering all the plants. Uh, got new sprouts coming up. These radishes look not very good, but the other ones look perfect. These should be in the process of germinating already. These ones were planted about three or four days ago. And all the way down, we have beautiful uh, plants coming up. These are actually, uh, if I remember correctly, melons. And then we have more coming up here. These are beans, some more tomatoes. We eat a bunch of tomatoes, so these are beef steak followed by some large romaine tomatoes. And then we have some pumpkins, some more melon. Actually, th those aren't pumpkins. These are uh, cantaloupe. Then we have some watermelons and then some big old pumpkins that are going to go right here. Our corn, our second bed of corn is already sprouted up. It's been in the ground for four days now, I think. And then my transplanted corn that I grew in my my lights, my homemade lights, is awesome. So all my seedlings, uh, my 648 seedlings, I think in total it ended up being around six, I, I'll generously say 625. So I had a very good yield on germination. First time doing it, but it, it came out awesome. So our garden's come along, 13 rows. We're gonna do a few more to, to the where I said we're gonna partition it off. We won't document that because you've already seen it. Um, but yeah, just another day on the farm. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're staying safe. We're just out here working our every day. I shave my head because it's hot. Uh, but next week, big plans, man. Big, big plans. As soon as that Premier One fencing comes in, like I said before, we'll be getting our the rest of our livestock, our pigs, our goats, our cows, and then hopefully sometime in the future, maybe we'll talk about getting maybe like a alpaca or a llama. They're expensive. My wife really wants some. They're cool. They, drop a comment down below if you'd like to see that. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it'll be a new video Monday. Hopefully I'll have more information about everything that we're going to be doing. I can share with y'all. I just don't want to give out, out too much information before it happens because it's kind of, it makes me look like a liar and I don't like to be looked like made out to be a liar so hope you all enjoy the video go ahead share our stuff man it's very much appreciated share it with your friends uh we're getting a few new subscribers each day like one or two um so if you're new to the channel we appreciate it so much just uh go ahead and just share that stuff the more we can get the more we can get involved with people uh and then hopefully we'll make enough produce and we can do canning and give some of our stuff away maybe to some viewers or some giveaways or something like that and then when we do meat we could do like a, a package or something something cool from our farm to your table that'd be kind of cool i think we might talk about that um but yeah go ahead like comment share and uh if you're new to the channel or if you just found us go ahead and subscribe it's much appreciated videos monday wednesday friday and uh i'll see y'all monday see you.